everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 today. We're playing as the United States. And we are going to be doing a little bit of a historical US. Uh, we're going to be going down the... I think it's called a changing course. What's it called? Uh, Re-establishing the gold standard. That's what we're going to go do. Which requires us not to have Franklin Roosevelt as our uh, leader. We need to get rid of him. So we're going to be boosting fascism, going down the Silver League of America, and we're going to be reuniting the Confederacy. There we go. There it is. Honor the Confederacy. Global homogeny. Just get as many goddamn puppets as we can. Look at the war plan divisions. I think besides standard, uh, you know, uh, standard um, fascist countries, uh, the US has some pretty good... That's a pretty good uh, opportunity to do global dominance. It's a pretty good nation to play. And it's got a great economy. Well, not for the start it does, but it has a great economy eventually. So we're going to be doing uh, the US Civil War and uh, getting the old uh, southern states in charge again. So uh, let's, get into, let's get into it. Right, finally we've got the election of 1936. Uh, we need the Republicans to be in charge. The people have spoken. Yada, yada, yada. We'll finish up the War Department. And then we can re-establish the gold standard and start to, uh, you know, rejuvenate this, this beautiful country and make it great again. Right, uh, the only problem with America is a lot of its focus trees is locked behind the uh, Senate approval. So we are going to be sat here kind of monitoring the, uh, the approval of the Senate and the House, slowly recovering from the Great Depression. It's not going to be... A terribly quick game. It will take quite some time. So there will be big gaps in between the years. But I'll try and keep it as concise as possible. But uh, I think my first goal will be to kind of solidify the Americas. Take the North and the South. Uh, which puts it all with the UK. And then we'll turn on the Germans once they're weak to the Soviets. Uh, and once they are weak, we'll take the Soviets out as well, I think. And now we'll take out the big nations. I want to take out all the big nations. So America is the only powerful nation left in the entire game uh one thing i do suggest when you're doing the uh the old civil war on the fascist side is avoid the ones that say they will draw you closer to the civil war for as long as as humanely possible you want to avoid the civil war as i mean you go down this one which does say it will draw you closer but just try to kind of avoid as long as humanely possible the civil war um it's the last thing you kind of want to get into before, especially if you're not prepared. If you beeline for it, you, you're going to be fucked. It's, you're going to end up with like four dudes against like a fucking huge American army. And it's it's just going to actually kick your ass. So just try and avoid it and build up your fascist support for as long as humanly possible. Uh, but yeah, it shouldn't be too too hard to do. It's fairly easy to avoid the, uh, the old civil war. World War Two is off. The Great War has started. Uh, and we are gearing up for our own lovely little war. Uh, get rid of the commit some uh, several acts of genocide ourselves. Uh, with a uh, civil war, hopefully. Which shouldn't take too long uh, to get to. We are getting raided constantly by uh, the fascists. They keep stealing all our bloody guns. But apart from that, I've got so many goddamn guns it doesn't actually matter if they steal them. Uh, but yeah, we'll... Um, I need to actually build up an air force this game, because I keep not building up bloody air forces, and it cucks me every time. It just makes my push way harder. It makes my life just so much more difficult. Right! We are at war! The American military junta is versus the constitutional United States of America. Um, yeah, it's a, there is a war going on there. We've got a lot of dudes, so I'm not too concerned about fighting either side. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. We've lost a fair few big boys. But, uh, uh, let's be honest, that's nothing. That's nothing. We lose people all the goddamn time. We've got Douglas MacArthur, and that's all we bloody need. Uh, get these lads in the army. But yeah, uh, because I've done so many of the goddamn faction build-up bloody bollocks, it's, uh, it's worked out quite well for us, to be fair. Uh, I'm going to assume most of their troops are in California, because that's... the capital well is it the capital no they've got washington haven't they uh well it will be the capital so i'll have them over here just take a big front line go on lads go push that and these lads will take this oh boston's their capital that's a weird they got washington so it's, i'm surprised washington's not their capital bizarre there he is 
Douglas MacArthur, the American Caesar. Beautiful. We'll take the guns and the stuff from the Germans and the Japanese. And we'll, uh, we'll kick the constitutional United States out of America. Civil War is going fairly well. We're pushing them out of the north. And uh, we pushed them all the way back to Boston and New York. So it's not going too badly for us. It's going pretty well. So Spain sent us five volunteers. And they've just been sat in this New York province the whole fucking war. We're running out of guns and manpower actually now that I've looked at it. Oh, I need fucking shit tons for extensive conscription. Uh... Uh... Well, I guess I'm going to have to do the guy that gives me a more political power gain. Which will be... Where is... I just saw this dude. Hey, we capitulated the United States. So we can take everything they have. Go, take all of this. Uh, don't forget to take their navy as well. Because that's your navy. You don't want to end up losing that bloody thing. Uh, because it will take a, it's a pain in the ass to get back. Uh, yeah, take everything of that. Take every, we'll take all of the Philippines as well. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. Bada bing, bada boom, Navy, Philippines, blah, 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 blah. There we go. And because I didn't have the stupid non-intervention focus, got myself a free war goal against Japan. So while they're kicking ass in China, we're going to go over there and invade them. But first things first, we've got to come down here, celebrate all of this, and then we'll do Enshrine States' Rights in a second as well. Hey, there we go, we flipped over, we are now the Confederate States of America, with Douglas MacArthur in charge as the American Caesar. And uh, we're going to go take Japan, I've decided, once we've got our little wall plan orange up. Will, uh... Oh, William Dudley Pelly? No. Now, hmm. Charles Lindbergh? Oh. No. The Republic still needs him. He's the American Caesar, damn you. Okay, the Germans are all the Soviets. Ah, these are the potential allies. Uh, uh, allies? Potential enemies, I see. Well... Fuck it, we can take out the Germans as well then. Beautiful. When can these boys do their little duty? We need more naval superiority. Here. Right, after murdering more Japanese boats than I knew what to do with, we finally made landfall in the, uh, the mainland. The home island as it were. And uh, we're going to push forward and try and take out as many of them as possible. If captured, they start to capture the Philippines, but that will not matter. Uh, let's just move these boys out of the convoy raid. Go on, go. Yeah, go sink as many as you can. I don't particularly care. As per usual, there is about four people on the island defending it. We've killed them all in the initial invasion. And now we just kind of wander around taking out, you know, village after village. Oh, look at that. Two Japanese divisions defending the home island. Three Japanese divisions defending their entire, you know main island where if they get, get captured they capitulate it sounds good it's typical hoi for ai really it honestly is typical hoi. they should have like because they've got this elite code of honor right like oh we can't have oh, just decimating their navy you can't have you know traitors in our midst or cowards but like they don't have a militia unit that they can raise up like that just have them have like a militia unit they can raise in defense because this is pathetic well, I was kicking the ass of every Japanese soldier this side of Midway. We've finally got the peace conference to kick off. And we're going to start off by puppeting our boy as much as we can, and then we'll just take out China as well. All right, we declared war on Japan. Uh, Japan? On China, sorry. Trying to repeat myself here. Um, we need to call Japan into the war, that's right. You guys are in this war now. Nice. Right, let's kick Japan, uh, China out of Japan, and then puppet it. Okay, so to deal with China, we're going to be doing what's called in the, uh, the military world as a reach around. Uh, and basically, that requires us to go completely around the enemy and fuck them from behind. Which won't be too hard to do, because they're cucking themselves by fighting our front line, and our naval invasion is going fairly well. Oof, look at that encirclement. Oh, look at the helmets fly. Oh, so many brave Chinese soldiers on the sh Oh, Japan did a naval invasion, look at that. So many brave Chinese soldiers just getting absolutely mullered. Oh, 
It's such a bloodbath. It's lovely. Well, it looks like all of the Chinese troops are stuck on mainland Japan. Um, so we're going to fool our boys out and chuck them on Korea. And then advance from there. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do... No, 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 no. That front line. There we go. Much better. And we'll just walk over here and take all this. <laughs> They've got 120 troops, but I believe they are all stuck on mainland Japan. And they can't leave because I am raiding the coast. Right, we ended up at war with Britain somehow, I think, through a bunch of Chinese relations. So now I'm at war with the Allies and the Axis. So their troops are going to be split, which will weaken them, but uh, we'll be okay. We're going to push China back and take over China, because now two Chinas are fighting each other. They're going to be very weak. A lot of Chinese troops are stuck in uh, Japan still. And the Japanese aren't, I mean, they've got no guns, but apart from that, they're doing, or is it no manpower? They've got no manpower, but they're doing okay. Right, Communist China's capitulated, which won't help us out a huge amount, because now that means China is, can focus on us, but there's still a huge amount of Chinese troops stuck on this island, with absolutely nowhere to go. And, now that we've pushed out Korea, the land gets a bit more favourable to fight in, not from attrition to the pike point of view, but we can spread them a lot thinner, and our troops are a lot better at fighting less of them than, like, 15 gab, you know, gathered together. So, we should be okay, actually, to be fair. We should, we should be able to conquer China pretty fucking quick. Uh, the war for North America is going pretty well. We've pushed the Dominion of Canada back a lot with just these 21 divisions. Uh, I've actually split them up a bit now, nice. Uh, so that's gonna go. We'll, we'll we'll clear the UK out, no problem. They they've lost a lot of dudes in this war. Um, the Germans are uh, disgusting to look at, so I'm not going to look at them anymore. But apart from that, it's going okay. And for China, we've held we pushed them back to this mountain range here, and we're gonna hold them here. Uh, well, supply's not great for us, but it's not great for them either. Their attrition's pretty bad, and they're running out of guns. So, and I know it's guns because it's definitely not manpower at all so it's definitely ha it has to be guns but uh it's going well all right well the soviets have joined our war against the allies the german reich is this weird mess italy is this weird it's the whole world is at war with each other again world war ii didn't end it just got bigger uh we've almost kicked the the uk out of uh north america we've pushed into this little pocket here we're cleaning up the canadian lands up here but canada is an attrition fucking hellhole and it's impossible to walk through. Oh yeah, and we split China in two. So now there's a huge bunch of Chinese troops stuck up here. Because there's no port. And there's no border anymore. Uh, so China's kind of fucked. Because most of their troops are stuck in the north. Slowly getting attrition down to nothing. So it's, it's a good win. You know what? It's going well for America. It's going really well. We had to abandon the Chinese offensive. Uh, because it was taking fucking forever. And we're starting to lose the home front. Uh, so we pulled back because I just completely didn't realise that uh, the UK had landed. Also, the Soviets are getting their fucking ass kicked again. So you might have to come over here and try and help out. I don't know how I'll do that, but I'm sure I can figure out a way to do it. Uh, maybe I'll get some land, like, you know, a little bit of uh, naval approval and come in that way. Naval approval? Uh, military access and then help them push out the Allies. But for now, we need to secure the home front. Right, we've defended the home front to a degree. We've pushed them all back into Canada. It's now an attrition health trying to fight in Canada. Uh, and we are also trying to defend the Russians before they explode as well. Because I'd rather not be fighting everyone on my own. And quite frankly, I think if I do have to fight everyone on my own, I will lose. I have no men. Let's stop making divisions. I have no men. No guns. This war has not gone very well because I dragged the allies into it when I just wanted to fight China. <laughs> right, we are, we've been stuck in this attrition hell for ages, so I'm taking a gamble. There are no troops in Russia. There are, like, zero. There are, I don't know where they are, but they're not in Russia. Russia is whole. I mean, China's getting fucked, but there's, like, nobody up here. So I'm taking a gamble, and I'm sending my lads, all of them, or at least a big majority of them. I've got a token force here holding... The Allies aren't really bothering with any more naval invasions. They're just kind of... They haven't bothered for the last two, three years. So we're sending our boys around. They've got their token fort. You know, they've got the ships guarding here. Some of our boys will get through unscathed. In fact, given that there's 107 of them going, almost. Uh, well, it's probably about more. That's probably about 70... Probably 80-something going. So 
uh, some of them, a fair majority of them will get through unscathed, but 72 pretty much unscathed. Um, so we should be able to help the Russians push the Allies out and capitulate a huge chunk of the Allied forces. Well, the Russians are gone, which means I am now surrounded. Uh, so that's a big chunk of my army that's going to die. Unless I can get them to uh, a port, which we will try, but I don't imagine they'll get there in time. Um, oh, there's a port there. Get there. If we can get the Riga, we should be able to save a good majority of them, but I reckon I reckon they're dead. I, I'm going to be honest, I reckon most of my troops are in fact now dead. If they are, I'm going to call it, I'll be honest, it's 19 fucking 50 almost. I can't be asked to rebuild an army. I thought I could help the Soviets defend. And to be fair, we did make a good push into Estonia, but they're at war with the Chinese and the British, and I think this might be the end for my for my my little run here as the Americans. We haven't lost the homeland. I mean, the, I mean, the, well, they landed in Miami. Oof, big fucking whoop. They keep landing, but they keep losing the land. So I'm not really. We're not going to lose, but we're not going to win either it's a weird you know situation i'm in right yeah as i expected once the soviet union fell we lost all our bloody troops uh so with them all dead and the homeland basically secure because uh, let's be honest they're not going to be able to do much damage with this being their you know their fucking island uh i think i'll leave it there to be honest today um the world's a bit fucked but they haven't taken any of my puppets i don't think i think i think all of my puppets are fine Oh, I joined the common turn. I forgot about that. I completely joined the common turn to kind of maybe sort the supply issue out. But yeah, the only thing dead are the Soviet puppets. All my puppets are fine. They haven't even touched them. We have lost six million dudes. Um, yeah. So I think with pretty much every American known to man dead, uh, we'll leave it there. Um, it's not really going anywhere. There's a lot of naval invasion alerts that don't really do anything uh so yeah thank you very much for watching sadly this was not the standing the astounding success i wanted it to be we'll come back again i'm shaking in the future once i've uh, developed a little bit more but uh yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye <laughs>